So now that you know how to get to your feet from the prone position using the figure four, let's talk about proper surf stance. This is for a beginner, not for advanced surfers. Beginner stance is gonna be a little bit different because our main emphasis is that you just find a good point of balance on the board, all right? So, surf stance. Your back foot, which again for me is my right foot because I'm regular, needs to be on the center line of the board, right through the middle from the nose to the tail. There's a line called the stringer, okay? My foot needs to be right on that center line, close to the fins. The reason you want your back foot close to the fins is so that you can maneuver and control the board, you can make turns, so on and so forth, okay? The front foot needs to be in the front half of the board, just past the, the center handle here, right? Past the middle, a little bit closer to the nose, okay? Notice my feet. So when I put my back foot on, my back foot is 90 degrees perpendicular to my rail, but my front foot is slightly open. We say about a 45 degree angle. You want that front foot open so that you can rotate your hips, which rotates your chest, okay? If I'm too closed off, it's gonna be really hard for me to be able to turn this direction towards my back hand, my back side, okay? I also don't want to be in this warrior two position with my front foot uh, in line with the nose. You don't want that front foot facing all the way forward. It's tough to balance from this position, okay? So 45 degree angle, split the distance. It allows that maneuverability, but also allows that good balance, okay? If we split the board into four quadrants, so we have a line running through the middle lengthwise and a line running through the middle uh, from rail to rail, I want my two feet in all four quadrants. What do I mean by that? So my feet are in line along the stringer. I have one foot, my front foot in the front half of the board and my back foot in the back half of the board, okay? That's how we know we're in a proper surf stance. I don't want this front foot to be open like this, too much weight on the left rail. You shouldn't be closing yourself off, too much weight on the right rail. A common mistake I see for beginners is their stance is too far towards the tail of the board. We want to try and avoid that because if you're standing over the tail, you don't have that front foot in the front half of the board, okay? You're on the brakes. So you're going to catch that wave. You're going to be going down the line, going down the face, and then you're not going to be able to make the next section because you're traveling too slow. You have too much weight over the back, okay? So feet in all four quadrants. My hips, because my foot is slightly open, my hips are slightly rotated towards the nose of the board, towards the front. This allows me to turn to my backside, turn to my front side, and have uh, a great field of vision, all right? So chest open allows me to see and turn in both directions, okay? What do I do with my hands? Age old question, don't know what to do with my hands, okay? so. You want your right arm over the right rail and your left arm over the left rail. You can kind of imagine a tightrope walker, right? They're using their arms on either side of the line to help them balance and they're nice and loosey-goosey. I don't want you rigid, making fists, right? Flexing your muscles, okay? Tightrope walker, nice loosey-goosey. If it helps, you can point your lead arm in the direction you wanna go. The emphasis is left arm over left rail, right arm over right rail, okay? What I don't want to see is this, again, this warrior two action where both arms are in line or even worse, both arms over the front rail. We see this a lot with beginners, okay? This is a real challenge. We need to open up, bring that left arm over the left rail so we're nice and balanced and we can turn. If we have too much weight over this front rail here, what do you think is going to happen? We're going to lean forward overcorrect and fall off, okay? So arms rotate, chest forward. Notice my legs, my knees are pinching together, okay? Most athletic stance in sports, they teach you knees in line with feet, knees are centered, okay? In surfing, 
especially if you're an advanced surfer making these steep turns and maneuvers, you're gonna bring your knees in. If you're a beginner, you don't necessarily have to knock your knees like I am, but you definitely don't want what we call this poo-poo stance where the knees are out wide and the butt is low. This just, just doesn't look very good, right? Okay, so I'm nice and relaxed. I'm smooth, I can rotate my hips, okay? Knees come together to really create that torque and that power when we're turning, okay? Sink nice and low, my head is forward. I'm not leaning over, I'm not bent, okay? I have a nice plane where my chest, knees, and toes are all in line. They're all on the same plane, okay? I don't wanna see you leaning over with your butt out like this, all right? So this is our proper surf stance. So once you've stood to your feet on the surfboard, whether that be through the figure four or the slide up technique, the next thing you need to be able to do is bring your board to a stop. If you'll remember how we stopped our board in the prone position, we went from prone to child's pose. What that does is it brings your weight over the tail of the board so that the nose lifts up and your board stops traveling forwards towards the shore. It's the same thing when we're standing, okay? So you have a couple different options, right? So say you caught a wave, you stood to your feet, you're riding that wave towards the beach, you're starting to get to shallow water and you want to stop without bailing off or falling off the board, right? How do we, how do, we do this, okay? So one option is simply to sink into your legs, bring your hands down, feet back and into the prone position and then child's pose, which we already know how to do, right? Okay, so coming back down to the board, child's pose, nose lifts up, and we stop moving forward. That's option number one, okay? Another option is to go from your standing position and simply shift your weight back or even maybe take a baby step back so that front foot is now in the back half of the board as opposed to the front half. Okay, so all my weight is over the brakes. And then I can kind of start to turn my hips, rotate this board and turn out of the wave. Also by bringing that weight over the tail, you'll naturally start to slow down and uh, stop riding the wave, okay? If you are finding it too challenging to either stop your board from the prone position or stop your board by shifting your weight back and turning out of the wave. The last option is to fall off your board, okay? When you fall off your board, you wanna make sure you're not diving mm. into the water because the water's probably gonna be shallow and you could hit your head, right? So don't dive off. Anytime you bail your board, you always wanna get off the back. Why do we get off the back? Well, the water's deeper back here than it is closer to the nose, right? If we think about how a beach is sloped. But the other reason we want to fall off the back and not the side or the front is so that our board continues traveling forward in the wave, but we are away from our board, right? The natural momentum of the board is moving that direction. So if we fall off the back, we're guaranteeing that we're not gonna get hit by that board. However, if we were to uh, jump off the side or the front, we might collide with that board, right? So that's why we go off the back, all right? So you're not just jumping off this board because if you land in shallow water, you could potentially land on a rock or a stingray or roll your ankle or there's any number of things that can happen, right? And like I said earlier, we're not gonna dive mm. off because you could potentially hit your head. So when you fall off the back, it's really important that you spread yourself out. We call this the starfish position, right? My legs are spread out, my arms are spread out, and I'm just falling flat. I'm not gonna demonstrate it here because we're on a hardwood surface, but I'm spreading myself out, I'm falling flat, and that way I prevent myself from sinking and hitting the bottom, okay? So if you have to bail, this is your third option, right? Not ideal, but if you have to, Starfish off the back. If you do lose your balance, right, and you fall on accident, you always wanna make sure when you resurface, you're covering your head, right? So you're surfing a wave towards the beach, you lose your balance, you fall off, you're underwater, you resurface, cover your head. The reason you wanna do this is because you're attached to your board via an ankle leash, right? So that board could, could be coming back at you. It could reach the end of the leg rope and then start to travel towards you, or the board could be caught up somewhere 
uh, close to you when you fell, right? You could fall off the front, the, the board is back here in the wave, and then that board starts to come at you. So when you resurface, cover your head, make sure you're always protecting yourself. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it. If you did, go ahead and give us a like and maybe even subscribe to our channel. It would be greatly appreciated so that we can continue doing these videos in the future. Also, make sure to check out our next video in the series where I'll be talking about how to speed up, slow down, turn front side, and turn back side.